Hey, what's up, guys? Wanted to put together a couple more guides here. As you can see, tailwind, uh, tucked pin here. Um, one of the things that I wanted to bring up, if you're developing this red barchetta, you're going to want this carry for this. So if you have this at a four or five already, it's going to be ideal. You can do this shot with a fusion. Um, it would be ideal if you got a tailwind. You don't need a tailwind with, uh, with the barchetta. That's kind of the nice thing about this so um, of course it always does help if you just put this kind of right here and you were to backspin this like this you'd see that it'll come in nice and soft and you just got to make sure to hit the green you can't hit that fringe so a lot of times what I'll do is maybe try to curl this like this now there's a way with fusion you can either play this off this rough with topspin or off this cart path as well. Uh, this isn't a great win for the cart path, so you would probably want to try to dial it in right there with some spin. And you, as you can see, we're just going to try to land this right on the front, maybe with some curl. And ideally, the smaller the win, the better. 5-2. Um, not sure. I got to make sure that I get this to the green. That's the only caveat here. So here you can see Black Widow Ball. Um, you know, the number one rule is get it to the green. We are on a lower elevation. So if I was to input rings here, for example, you would see maybe it says three. Now that doesn't mean it's going to get up here because we're so low because we're off the front of the green here. Now up here it would probably play three rings, but here um, I'm a little worried it might underplay. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to intentionally miss this left and just curl it back. So let's see, I'm thinking right about here. And I'm thinking maybe just a touch of overpower because, as I mentioned, we have to get this on the green. If this doesn't hit the green, it's going to go, uh, you know, a bit far. And as you can see, it does get onto the green. All that curl, I'm able to get that in there close, really even gave it a chance to go in. So, um, as you can see, it just kind of stops on a dime. Even with three bars, that's all, like, you. a lot of times you might not even need backspin. It, it really just depends on the wind angle. So, you know, for instance, if that would have been to the side and I could have added over power and done it kind of the same method, I might have been able to get away with only like one backspin and landing it kind of in that same spot. So keep that in mind. Good luck. I'll see you guys on the next one.